All right, guys, welcome back. We got this uh, Lincoln MKX here. As you can see, we got some coolant. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna be uh, adding coolant in the system, and then we're gonna bleed the, the air out in a procedure that, so I believe this is all I need is, uh, this is a concentrated coolant. We're gonna mix it with water. I got the Autil uh, scan tool here. We're gonna check out the live data of the temperature of the engine while it's running so we know exactly the temperature of the engine so um i got this uh, solid fluid here for the coolant and we're gonna mix it with the uh, water uh for some country they put p 50 but here up in uh, north america we use 60 40 so what that means is 60 of these and 40 of the water uh our climate here is uh reach down to like negative 50 celsius so that's really cold with uh with the windshield you know and then we're gonna fill her up with the uh, coolant in here this is the overflow tank we're gonna fill her up all the way to, to, to the cold level right here cold and then hot down there this is a bone dry um, coolant nothing in the block nothing in the in the red so everything is bone dry uh i believe the si service information said uh 10 liters or 10 and a half liters if it's bone dry so i have enough here of fluid that i need all right guys we're gonna fill this bottle up here all the way to the top so it's gonna need more than uh and six liters for pour this coolant in and then we're gonna pour water right after so all right here we go pour some in i'm gonna put water in here this is only half a liter in this jug tell this system is thirsty because you need more all right just leave it like that we're gonna have to start the engine and all the coolant will drain in to the engine and to the rad so well uh, eventually we're supposed to just fill up to the cold level but don't worry that thing will get drained and we'll keep adding coolant every time when it's low now we're gonna start the engine and uh, keep an eye on that coolant all right guys so before i start the engine uh, make sure uh install the battery cables into the battery uh you can tell that i got this intake pipe here connected but there's no filter it's all good because what I need is that I need to connect this mass mass airflow sensor and uh, PCV hose and breather on there so that this will run good and we got no codes popping out. So we're just gonna lift it like this. No, don't need a filter or anything yet because uh, when this thing is all bled and uh, ready to go, we're gonna do the transmission uh, uh, oil. So you can tell it's full. We're gonna go start the engine now. Alright guys, uh, let's hook up this scanner and then the connect it on the bottom with this uh, dash here, just like that, on an OBD port and then we're gonna go start the engine, watch for our uh, temperature, we're just gonna go get this thing started here all right guys i was gonna go quickly uh start this engine now just communicating takes a while we got 9.9 .9 volts on our battery on the engine so this should start hopefully here we go nope really low all right here we go we got full battery pack this should start this engine 
Right guys, we got 10 volts. It's gonna start. Here we go. All right, we got in the right setting. Here we go. Ah, Jesus Christ. Really? All right, here we go again. There we go. Let's go up to the front, looks for leaks. We're gonna have to uh, wait till we get the right temperature and parameters for all the OT sensors. Till we do the test, it's gonna be smoky because of the work that we've done on the oil, ignition, manifold, exhaust. So it's gonna be smoky in here, so just keep an eye on that. And uh, we'll keep an eye on our temperature on the scan tool. While we'll keep an eye on the coolant level, okay? All right, so next step, we're gonna be uh, keep the RPM steady on uh, 3500 and hold it for 30 seconds. And then after that, we're gonna turn off the engine and uh, let it sit for a minute and then uh, bleed the air out of that tank. So that, that's what's gonna happen. So let's, uh, this thing have no RPM on here. So we can look on the RPM on our scan tool right there gonna steady on a 3500 all right guys let's open this up okay there's not much air coming out so we're gonna start it again and then just get this engine to the right temp and uh it's purged this air out again here we go All right, so we had to keep repeating this five, six times to uh, bleed this air out. So basically just start the engine, let it idle for one minute and then floor the gas all the way to uh, 3,500 RPM for 30 seconds. And then after that, just let it sit idle for 30 seconds and then uh, turn off the engine. And then uh, you open the, the coolant tank, just let the air out. Close it back in and start over again. Just keep doing that till the, the some fluid drain out of the tank going into the engine. Just keep repeating that. Just keep doing it till there's no more air bubbles coming. I could feel the tank is pretty warm. Not much. The upper hose is hot to a touch. This is the rad, lower rad hose right here to the thermostat. It's pretty warm. So I have a feeling that the thermostat is slightly open or fully open. But it's pretty warm. Alright guys, this is the fifth attempt. I got the HVAC heater control going it's pretty it's pretty hot it's pretty hot coming out so that means uh, we got all the coolant into our heater core all mixed up together with the water so it's doing a really good this is my fifth attempt so let's go check the engine bay and then let's purge that air out I could hear the fan going already a couple times. Hot to the touch. There's upper rad hose and the lower rad hose. Yeah, coolant tank is pretty hot. 
all right there's not much air anymore i think i think we're we're good i think like i know that the thermostat is is wide open now uh the lower rad hose going to the thermostat is uh is hot so that means that coolant's going in there going to the to the rad and then come up to the upper rad hose and go back to the block it circulates so we know that it's a uh, it's open thermostat and the temperature is right in the middle probably 198 or 95 fahrenheit temp temperature it's not showing me on my on my scan tool the numbers but it shows on the cluster that uh, it's uh it's right in the middle it's right in the right temperature so uh, i think this is it guy uh we're gonna do one more test uh, one more cy cycle of the engine and uh, that's about it and then we let it idle and set it for about 30 seconds and crack this again if there's no more air coming out our purging coolant air is done this is ready to go all right so let's do one more test here there we go I can see the temperature right there, right in the middle, and it's pretty hot in here now. Wow. Both on high. Jesus Christ, is sweating in here. All right, so I've been idle for 30 seconds, turn it off, and just go check that bottle get that air pocket out uh, okay here we go i know there's no air but there we go see i know it that's it guys this is done i did five attempt on this that's what the uh, si service information told me to do is uh, follow that step and uh, if there's no air coming out that's it you don't have to do anything else some people will do six seven times but you can do it if you want to it's not gonna hurt but after fourth time I did this there's no air fifth time there's no air so that's about it make sure check around make sure there's no leak around the the block especially on the front where the red coolant and especially to the bottom under the engine okay so this is good, it's done. I can hear the fan going. And this is a fix, that's how you guys bleed the coolant on this. And make sure, to, if you like this video, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up, a like on this video. I'll be making more videos about vehicles. What I'm gonna do next is, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, doing the transmission oil i'm gonna add transmission on this to, to, to the right level we got a good temperature on the engine now so next video we'll do a transmission oil set it up at the right level so that we can get this vehicle moving out of the garage All right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you again to the next one